Hey again, good morning. Nate Bear here, lead technical tactician for Monument Traders Alliance and Trade of the Day. And in today's video watch list, I want to go over the SPX and I've got a fresh trade setup that I'm looking for this week. Plus, I want to show you the most important chart on the planet, in my opinion, right now. Let's dive right in. Okay, so I, with no further ado, in my opinion, this is the most, let me get rid of that off mic symbol there. This is the most important chart on the planet. This is the SPX weekly chart, the weekly chart of the SPX. And the reason I say that this is the most important chart on the planet is because we have a big old weekly squeeze right here, which is very well developed. We're one, two, three, four, five dots into this weekly squeeze. What is going to happen is that either the momentum will shift sort of like we had in through here, right? that momentum shifts and we get this really nice move higher or this will keep going lower we'll break this trend line and probably retest these lows this is going to be the key driver of the move either higher or lower over the next several weeks in my opinion so this is in my opinion the most important chart on the planet i'm watching this like a hawk there's also a daily squeeze in the spy so Again, if we look at this, we've got a daily squeeze here. We've got this sort of, sh this, this compression of price coming from both the top and the bottom. Check this out. You've got sort of trend line support like here and then down trend line here. You've got a daily squeeze below. <laughs> I mean, th this is setting up for a big move, my friends. So which way will it go? That's that's the question, right? That's the question. And I don't think we have to sit and guess and say, hey, we know we need to load up our portfolio long or short and, and hope for the best. I think we can look to some of the leaders, like what are the names like Apple doing? What are the names like Microsoft doing? What are the names, the big, the big tech names? What are they doing? What are the banks going to be doing? And I'll be honest right now, it's very mixed. You've got tech sort of leading. You've got uh, regional banks and, and national banks sort of struggling. I do think it's a little bit overdone personally. I think names like uh, Goldman Sachs, especially, are going to have a bottom and a nice bounce here soon. Uh, and if that happens, I expect the SPX will fire to the upside. All right. So that's my sort of take on the SPX. I do think that the those daily and the daily and weekly squeezes are paramount in determining what's going to happen over the next few weeks to potentially the next few months. That weekly squeeze could have you know ramifications into may and even june okay so um there's a chart that i'm watching first i want to go over one that i'm watching that isn't set up yet which is ai and the reason i want to go over this first is because you know this is a fun one to trade it's pretty volatile uh it really moves around a lot and i'm looking at this overall sort of structure where we've got this this big bull pennant that's being built it's not ready yet. I don't have a daily squeeze or anything down here. But what I do have is a really nice structure and it's had some nice momentum recently. And I'm I'm sort of watching in this area to see if I can get a squeeze that develops. Ideally on like the 78 minute chart, which you can see there's no squeeze yet, right? No squeeze, no red dots yet. Maybe on the on the 60 minute chart. And I don't believe oh look at that. Okay, so I, the last time I looked at this was yesterday morning. At this point I do have a squeeze setting up down here. Um, I don't quite yet have a pattern, but maybe we can get something that looks sort of like this, right? Like a bull flag that gets built, bull pennant that gets built, and a squeeze on the 60 minute, 78 minute, maybe the 130 minute chart, something like that. Um, I think that would be pretty interesting. So not quite ready yet on AI, but definitely something I'm watching. The chart that I do think is ready and I do want to take entry in probably today or tomorrow is FIVE5. So let me zoom out. I'll show you the weekly view here first. So we can take a very wide level view. We've got this nice, strong chart, right? Nobody on the planet can argue with me that this is trending, right? Definitely a bottom left to upper right chart. And then within that, if we zoom in, we've got a nice daily squeeze where the momentum has shifted. The momentum has shifted and we have this really nice pattern. That is developed. What I'm looking for is this this trend line in through here. Let me get that drawn on there to break 
and price to head higher and probably retest these highs. You know, in in stronger markets where things were trending and doing a little bit better, I would say every time this is a buy at the 21 and we pop it up here to new highs. I think in this market, it's more of a base hit market where we can buy it at the 21 or better yet, the 55 EMA, which is the yellow line here, and then just work it into like near these new highs. <laughs> it's just It's just not a... It's not a home run market anymore or at the moment. I, and hey, you know what? If that SPX weekly chart uh, decides that it wants to fire alone, maybe that can change, right? So anyway, the options that I'm looking at in FIVE, they're a little bit um, pricey, a little bit uh, more expensive, but they just had earnings um, the 15th of March. So we don't have earnings coming up for a few months. But I think if we go out into, say, April and pick up either... You know, either the two hundred dollar calls or even even the one ninety five calls, they are a little bit more expensive. Uh, we could even set up like a call debit spread, like we buy the one ninety five and sell the two tens to make it a little bit of a cheaper debit. Uh, but I do like uh, the one ninety fives, the two hundreds, and then potentially even like an out of the money butterfly, say at around you know two ten uh, structured for that April expiration. So that's what I'm that's what I'm looking at. That's what uh, that's my view. Uh, just a reminder, if you want to see more content, if you have any questions, leave me a comment below. Be sure to like and subscribe. And if you want real-time market analysis and questions answered in real time while the market's open, uh, we just launched Daily Profits Live, dailyprofitslive.com. Check it out. And uh, thanks for watching. Talk to you guys soon. Later.